update for Ballistic Moon. Here he is, we'll look out the door in a minute. He's coming along nicely. Uh, he's up to three quarter pace, and we're hoping to trial him around the 25th at Warwick Farm. So, uh, at this stage, he's come back for a little injury, but uh, nothing major. He won last preparation, and hopefully we can uh, put a few more wins on the board this preparation. The done deal, Cult the Yearling. Um, Alan Melanesia, he's going really well. Uh, just had a look at the stables this week. Goes to the paddock today, goes out for a month, and then he'll come back and get ready for the early two-year-old trials in September or October. So, going really well. Hey, buddy. He's a beautifully bred cult called Feudalist. He's by Catalyst. He's a half brother of a striker. Been trialling nicely and he's ready to race now. Um, this week looks a bit ordinary of the weather, so I had him down to race on Saturday at Newcastle. He's a beautiful cult. Um, and um, unfortunately, the weather looks like it's coming out. I don't want to run him on a wet track first start if I can. So I'll just watch closely what happens there. But uh, he's in good order, he's ready to run. He's come along well. His first gallop yesterday morning, his first time past three quarter pace with this preparation, and he went really, really well. I was very pleased the way he worked. So we're in good shape. We'll be probably trailing in a couple of weeks' time. Field, she's come back from a spell. She's grown a lovely big filly or big mare now. So this preparation, we're hoping to see her really fire going into the winter time. The right tracks for this girl. She really likes it wet. She won't take long to get fit, but she's looking well and she's doing everything right and she's heading in the right direction. Hey, buddy. Called Scam Demic. Interesting name, I know. Um, lovely colt, doing everything right. He's um, had a couple of little short preparations and uh, he's a late two-year-old now and we're starting to get the work right into him. So over the next couple of weeks, we'll get a bit of a, a hold on how much ability he's got and hopefully head to the trial soon. Beautiful shaped horse, get a bit woolly now, the winter's starting to get them. But uh, go the right direction, big fella, aren't you? Tough horse. Okay, guys, here's Unspoken Star, a cult by Zoo Star. Uh, he's going really well, he's starting to get fit. He just got a bit of a cold last week, so I had to back off a little bit. So once that cold clears up, uh, which it seems to have, he's still hasn't got a runny nose and coughing anymore. You're back doing some fast work again before we know. It's just going to bring, it's like anything, if you've got a cold, you just can't go out and run as fast as you can as soon as you feel like you're over it, because then you start to burn your lungs and end up getting sick again. So we'll just bring him on steadily again. But um, we like the sort of the babies to, to get these sort of bugs and what have you. Here's two, but if they catch these bugs early in life, it seems like they build their immunity up for later on in life. So uh, when it comes to racing and when he's ready to race, you don't have to worry about getting sick the week of the race. But, so, lovely horse, beautifully bred, going on. The Strato. She's been around for a long time, this girl. She's won a lot of prize money for Elite Thoroughbreds, and the way she's been working and uh, at track work, she's going to win some more as well. Trials on Friday, and then we'll resume soon after. But um, having a great preparation and, and looking forward to the winter time for her. Bring a Rosa. She's uh, up doing some strong three quarter pace at the moment, not far off a gallop. Last preparation, she had a lot of ability at the trials and uh, looking forward to seeing where she ends up this time through. She's uh, improved a lot physically. She's still not there yet, but she's certainly on the on her way. I think she's probably another six to 12 months away from being fully matured. But um, she's got a hell of a lot of speed. She just needs to strengthen up, and that comes with time. Team, here's Walk and Talk, and uh, last start winner at Wyong. Come through the run really well. Going to step him up to 1,300 metres next start. Going to go down to Kembla Grange. We're waiting to get back from uh, from Rachel King, whether she can ride him in that class one over 1300, but I reckon he'll be screaming out for that distance. Uh, he's come through the run really well. Lovely two year old, and uh, we look forward to his three year old season. Team here, Premisphere. She uh, was a little bit disappointing first up over 1000 metres at Gosford, beaten favourite, but uh, she's come through the run well. We felt that the 1000 was just too sharp for her. Steps up to 1250 tomorrow at Canterbury in what looks a very winnable race from a good barrier. I think she's got a huge chance tomorrow, so have something on her each way. She's got to be great value. Hello, we are late with Iron Brocken, but Cosmic Cameo staves them all off. But Bring a Gem with a gun runner is way too good. And there's a double for James McDonald. Straturbo just in front. It's ripping on it, won the last. Straturbo is coming away for a brilliant victory. And goes down to beat Octane Flyer and then came in third, Nothraki. Tester Shadow resuming today's a neck in front from Oxford Poet. It can't pull back the margin.
contest. The shadow patiently ridden outside the leader. Here seeking asylum with the last shot at them. Bursting through on the outside. Oh, what a great finish. Seeking asylum. And Dallas says, go on, Sebring Sun. And it races up to hit the lead and starts to wedge away on the rosebud. Sebring Sun from Wilder and let's make it rain. Regis run home into fourth. Followed then by Tatouche. Then Bambra from Zoo Tanada. And can be bossy after leading finish back at the tail of the field. Oh, yeah.